At about the same time that Ambrose was relating angiographic appearance to plaque disruption and thrombus, Michael Davis, a pathologist at St. George's Hospital and Medical School in London, was coming to similar conclusions through his studies of the microanatomy of critical coronary lesions in patients who died after an acute coronary event. He found that the so-called culprit lesion usually showed evidence of a recent tear or fissure. We are going to take a trip down the left anterior descending coronary artery of a man of 58 who suddenly dropped dead from ischemic heart disease. Here you can see his proximal uh, portion of his left anterior descending, quite a good vessel at this point, with some wall disease but no significant narrowing. And you can see that really quite a large patent vessel. And if we look at the next section down, this face would be the equivalent to the previous section. You can see again good lumen size, but now there is a very uh, distinct, quite large plaque here, but a nice arc of normal vessel wall and a very big lumen. So angiographically so far, a normal coronary artery. If we go yet further down, we now get into high-grade stenosis. You can see the vessel lumen here is much reduced in size. It's reduced in size by the presence of this rather large plaque over here. And it contains a fair amount of lipid. And the lipid is beginning to get rather sort of crumbly and you can see that it's beginning to break up at that point. And if we go another centimetre distally, I think we can now begin to see that this may be the lesion that actually caused this man's death. You can see that quite a marked reduction in lumen size, a big plaque, but now you can see that there's a presence of a split or tear running actually down into the plaque itself. The next section we can now look down actually into the lumen and you can see there that there is the intimal tear uh, clearly visible there. So there is actually an intimal tear present. And if we turn that over, so we've now gone just a little distally, you can see that here there was once a big atherosclerotic plaque which actually seems to be actually filled now with thrombus. There was the plaque cap, just make it out as a white line. And I think what we have evidence is that there's been a sequence of events going on in this segment of coronary artery over perhaps some days, perhaps a week, and finally becoming a, a more acute thrombotic process. <laughs>